Right now, people are setting up shelters so others can stay cool. News Channel 5's Adam Gassimi is at a Red Cross cooling center that opened at the fairgrounds this afternoon. Adam. Yeah, Vicki, so far we have not seen anyone actually utilize this shelter that's been open since 2 o'clock. We understand volunteers from the Red Cross will be here until 9 o'clock tonight, staffing this, ready for anyone who just needs to escape the hot temperatures outside right now. For some people, this can be a very good way to stay cool, especially for those less fortunate who may not have easy options. Okay. There you go. Thank you. On a day when most people would rather stay inside, Ed Grimes is out meeting strangers. With, with the day, tomorrow, we're going to go through a lot of water. He heads up the hot patrol for the Nashville rescue mission, passing out water to anyone who needs it. Hey, how you doing? Thank uh, you. I know you're going to be out here for a while today, right? Yeah, I'm going to be here for a while. Okay. Right. For the homeless, it can be the only option when downtown concrete hits triple digits. Just go with the flow. If you can find a spot to stay cool, you find a spot to stay cool. If you don't, you deal with the heat. The attack seems yeah. to be catching on. The Office of Emergency Management is loading up seven trucks to deliver bottled water across the city. We're just trying to be a positive and aggressive in our community. People with homes may not be able to escape the scorching temperatures either. A program to give out air conditioners and fans has nothing to offer people now on a waiting list. So it's really heartbreaking to say, you know, we have to put you on a waiting list because we don't have any air conditioner units available. At the fairgrounds, the Red Cross opened a cooling center that so far hasn't seen many people. But they say if only one person comes in with a genuine need, all of this will be worth it. And officials from the Red Cross say it doesn't matter if they only serve one person or up to 10,000 like they do during big natural disasters. All of this response will be worth it as they help the city respond to this heat wave. Now, what about electricity? NES today says they will not be disconnecting people who have gotten behind on their payments. They say once the heat index hits 105, they will not disconnect you. That is going to be in effect today and as well as tomorrow. So that means if you are at home and you you have air conditioning and you are behind on your payments, you won't lose it, at least not until Wednesday. We're live at the fairgrounds. Adam Gusini, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Adam. The Red Cross Cooling Center is open tonight until 9, tomorrow from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. For a complete list of places to go to escape the heat or on how to, you can donate to help, just log on to newschannel5.com.